Hello again, this is Magma WK, and today we're going to have fun with Rygar for the Nintendo Entertainment System. What is Rygar? It's an action game. It's an RPG-ish game. It's a game where you hop on turtles. No, it's not Mario. This is actually a retake. At least the first 30 minutes will be, because I had unusable footage. And I'll tell you what's else is unusable. Some of my abilities right now. So let's go through the abilities when we get strong enough here. On our status screen, you see our tone, which represents our strength. The strength of our yo-yo. The discanomer. The magical shield that hurts enemies. Who needs a sword when you got a shield? Anyway, last. How long you will last? Duh. <clears throat> As the number increases, you will gain more life bars, up to a maximum of 12. And of course you have the stat of mine. Right now we only have one bar, but if we gather stars from defeated enemies, that will increase to a maximum of 7. Some drop single, some drop double. Some will drop you. Hmm, anyways. What you need to do is use your powers. Power up will let you increase the range of your discanomer. As long as you don't die. But however, you will die a lot. Anyway, attacking a soul allows you to attack any enemy on the screen up to 10 times and recover using all 7 of your mind points. Will recover your health to max. And you'll get various items along the way to help you in your quest. But anyway, let's keep on going. To the Grand Mountains. Not just Grand, Grand. And you can hop in on these to stun them. And what you don't want to do is die. It's okay, though. If you die, you can just... Start from where you, you entered the uh, last screen there. This game can be glitchy at times. Not just graphically, but sometimes you'll get stuck in weird predicaments. Still a good game. What you might want to do in the beginning, though, is hide in a little corner and grind. I know, grinding is boring, Magma. But this will increase your experience and let you collect stars, potions, recover your health, etc. There we go. That was a little mini potion. Recovers one life bar there. And hopefully this shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Because you want your powers. You definitely want that power up, I can tell you that right now. And I think I have enough power. Nope. One more mind bar. Am I out of my mind? Absolutely. And why am I doing this? I'm doing this on an actual NES cart. So the quality will be lower than usual. Hopefully not too low. And hopefully I will pay attention. Throughout later videos you will notice some quality changes. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes good. There we go, finally. I can advance. Show you the power up. And you'll notice, it makes a new sound. Cool. Oh yeah, it also goes longer distances. So let's climb up for great justice. And keep on climbing. Up and up we go. Where we stop? Only I know. By the way, you don't want to go to the bottom screen. You will die. Even though we know there's something below us, you, we, you will die. So let's talk to our hermit and find out some information. 
Hermit on his pedestal, thinking he's all good and stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. Let's climb down. And we'll meet one of our new enemies soon. You notice our last is going up, but our tone isn't. Here's some enemies that will increase our tone. The Lizardman thingy jigs. Anyway, they'll try to get the drop on you. And they're pretty darn fast, too. Ooh, double star. And where was it? Oh, yes. I was going to go to the flames. I know they have a certain name. I'm just going to be too lazy to tell you what that name is. Gosh darn it, I've already been playing this game for pretty long. Did I mention there were no password system? There is no battery backup. So you must play it in one full running if you want to go from the beginning to end. Fortunately, you can complete the game in a few hours. Or even less if you know what you're doing. It's not that hard of a game once you learn where to go and how Rygar controls. He jumps pretty good, and he can control his jump in midair. But more on that later. Because this is fun side-scrolling action, is it not, kids? But no. What's going to happen soon is... It's going to... An overhead view! Yep. Now you can jump diagonal. But you can't move... Move diagonal. How weird. Anyways, let's go ahead and go forward here. And you'll be spending about half of your game in this area. Ooh, trees. Trees are nasty. Especially when you're this weak. Mmm. And why did I go over here? to get in that little temple thingy before I die. Notice I'm not dead yet. If I take one hit, I will die. But thankfully, the hermit will give me the grappling weapon. Don't you mean the grappling hook? Anyways, if I press hold up when I'm attacking, grappling hook, I can also duck and use the grappling hook in certain areas. Useful in the side-scrolling areas, but here, not so much. And let's hurry on over to our next area, so we can take a break. Or at least a break in the vid. Oh, we can just die and warp over there. Fortunately, you continue where you left off with all your experience and all your items in progress. There will be a problem with this later. Be right back. <laughs> 